Greetings and salutations and welcome to another event video. In today's videos we are going to be looking at planes, axes and points. And I'm going to try to do it in a way that's as fast as possible. That's also understandable. So, planes are a two-dimensional object in three-dimensional space in that they have absolutely no thickness. They have length, they have width and they're more used as a reference point for when you want to actually do modelling in three-dimensional space. I don't think needs to start on a plane so you can reference it to that point in space which sounds really arbitrary and it is. It's really kind of difficult to explain. One way of explaining it is you have to think about it like a notebook and you've got your paper and your pages which are very good for doing actually just a top down or just one side of it. But as soon as you want to start drawing in 3D or kind of make it look more 3D you actually have to start adding more planes and more sides a more structure to it to actually reference it so you can build it into a three-dimensional structure. <sighs> I hope you get that because that is really really hard really difficult to explain because there is really no foundation behind it apart from they allow you to reference and build stuff in three-dimensional space. So without further ado let's go on to it. So if you see here if I wanted to do anything on this anything on this cylinder on the top here it's perfectly fine because it's a flat surface so it in itself becomes a plane but this curved surface is an absolute nightmare so to add, if I want to do anything on there I have to go into my origin and select the plane that is perpendicular to it and see I can then just grab it and drag it out and so you see here what I can essentially do is drag it out and if I wanted to I'd know start a sketch on it like a start a sketch and if I was to say I wanted to put, oh, I don't know, a square hole through it. Click OK. Well, it's a rectangle, but near enough. And then you see I can then just extrude into it. That's essentially what a plane allows you to do. It's a reference point so that you can do features into other features where there's no flat surface. Which then builds me more into actually axes, which are really planes except they only have, they have no area, they are literally just a line. So they have one dimension. They can go up and down, left or right, or forwards and backwards, so in and out of your monitor. That's the kind of hard bit, but also with axes, is if I go into here, so say I wanted to do this torus, revolve it around, you see it's automatically to pick, put that as a rotational axis. But really, I could get away without doing it because if I just edit this sketch, turn it into just a non center line, just a regular line, and click revolve, there's a profile. But if I also go to origin, axes, just find the one that's the same on my line. And there you go, it revolves around it. It's just a reference line, like a mirror line that you can go around. And now for points. Now, points have no dimensions. They are literally, you can just attach them onto basically anywhere, give or take. They act, they more act like references, so you, I can just put them onto the corners of here. Corners are probably not being the best example because they already are a point in themselves, because that's where three, three, three vertices converge. But either way, they allow you to reference stuff in 3D space, so if I then wanted to put a plane through the middle of it, well, I could just go to a three-point plane and just select bang, 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 and there you go, it just cuts it like that. And planes have loads of actually other different ways to do it. You can offset planes from planes, you can do them parallel, you can find midpoints, but ideally, the best way to do it is to start with a regular plane, because a plane this top one doesn't lock you out of anything. You literally just select. So I could just select this plane and I could just offset it. Whereas as soon as you start setting this, like with three points, I can only select three points, which either means I have to start selecting corners or work points, which can be really irritating to begin when you don't know what you want to select. And obviously you've got tangent and stuff, which means you need to start having curved edges. But if you just have a if you just select plane, it's non-prescriptive, it just says Oh, so you just want a plane, well, choose anything, go nuts, and that's the kind of essence of the base plane mode. These other features ones below it, 
are great because sometimes if you have a lot of points clustered together you can easily misselect things so being a bit prescriptive can be more helpful right i hope that's helped explain planes in a bit because they're really arbitrary and they're more used as a reference more than anything else you can start using them in different ways and you can also get go to surfaces which can be thickened which also isn't a topic for another video thank you for listening see you in the next video